as you can see I'm replacing the fuel injector here these two screws apparently have Loctite in them um, I doubt this fuel injector's ever been changed but where do I put the new one at? put the new one somewhere this is what the new one looks like that's how big it is just basically shove it right in there Need I say that these were even looser when I, or even harder to turn when I first started working on them. And I'm going to have to get two bolts um, in order to get to them or to replace them with. That's what the forums have been saying. It feels like it's coming off. Now it's not. That little blue shit right there, that's Loctite. That's why it's such a pain in the ass to remove. So I'll put that over there to save right, it. So what I've got going here is I've got a new pair of vice grips. Had to go out to Lowe's again and get more tools that I need that I don't have because they're at work. So that's what I'm doing. And I've got it on there just right. So let's see how much damage I can hopefully not do. And you can see how tight this is. Holy hell. And I can guarantee you guys, I am not going to be using Loctite at all. So, I'm going to get the replacements here. I went ahead and bought some washers and some bolts that were slightly longer. The Geometro forums and my own mind were telling me to not get new screws. So hopefully these will fit. That's what I'm going to test out right now. I just want to make sure the threads will work. I know they are the right right size. And the threads look really similar to each other. Look at that HD quality. And then blue stuff is the Loctite I was talking about. I'm not putting that back on. So basically what I'm going to do here, by the way feel free to use any of these pointers for your own well-being. couple washers out because as you can see they're both not the same size the new one's a little bit longer so how I'm gonna fix that is by putting washers on it seeing how much of a difference that's gonna make I think three is enough but I'll only know for certain when I put it on Yeah, that looks good enough. Though uh, the three I put on will even out because you can see they're kind of offset a little bit once I, you know, screw this thing in. But now that we got that out of the way, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the next step is. Right under here should be the fuel injector. If I can get the thing off, and there she be. Oh wow, it's a Bosch fuel injector. So, if I remember correctly, just got to get at it, if I can set the camera down yet again. Up here. You know what, fuck it. Oh, this thing's going to be fun to pull out. And I'm going to try real hard not to damage this one. I 
And there's all the fuel inside it. So, okay, so now that I got out, the uh, new right bolts back. in with the washers on them, I have the right socket. Let's go ahead and screw them down. So now that I have the uh, filter assembly somewhat put back together, we can now start putting everything back together. So let's set the camera down yet again. And he goes over here, but set that aside. Socket. Something I've already started to notice about this car is just about everything is in 10 millimeter, which isn't a bad thing. Doesn't need to be down real tight, just good enough to get the job done. Now we can put our air filter back on. Looks good enough. And now we can put the latches back up. Come on. It's hard doing this one handed. And there we go. All four latches are down. Everything seems to be secured. So now I've got to reconnect the battery. First, move the core, because that's got to go back to O'Reilly's. Move head. And here's the new fuel filter. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to replace. It's right underneath that rear tire back there. Right by it, I should say. So now, hopefully we won't blow anything up. And I'm going to get in the car and start it. I need to prime it a few times. All the windows down so we can hear everything. I think I mean, I'm going to need to prime it. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to let it run a little bit. But it is getting fuel. That actually sounds a lot better. A little bit more responsive even. Guess it's a good time to check and see if the windshield wipers work.
and not really. They need to be replaced as well. Son of a bitch. That is so much more responsive, it's ridiculous. But I'll only notice a complete difference when I take it around the block. So Stay this time tuned. we're doing two things. We're gonna test everything out in the rain. Man, it's, it's even a lot quieter too. Because yeah. I had to un unhook the battery, this thing reset itself, so. Oh well, par for the course. Alright, so let's get driving over to Cameron's house. Turn on my headlights. Oh yeah, even in reverse gear I notice a difference. It's kind of interesting having no power steering though. The engine's running a lot smoother too. I didn't think it would do much of anything, but I guess it honestly has. Seems to be running a lot better. The windshield wipers are doing a good enough job for me to see out of and hopefully not wreck. Cam's house. And I'll be fashionable and park right behind his GTI. So, be right back. Or this will be the end of the video. Who knows? Peace out.